Hello and welcome to History Pod. I'm very grateful to the work of Giselle K. Jacobs for her thorough research and detailed website about the focus of today's podcast. Her grandfather, Josef Jacobs. You can visit her website at www.josefjacobs.info. The last execution at the Tower of London took place on the 15th of August 1941. Josef Jakobs was a German spy who was arrested after he signalled for help after breaking his ankle when he parachuted into Britain. Jakobs had served in the German army during the First World War and became a dentist in the interwar period. However, Due to the impact of the worldwide depression, he turned to selling fake gold, for which he served two and a half years in jail. After his release, Jakobs became involved in providing counterfeit passports to German Jews fleeing from Hitler's regime. However, he was arrested for this in 1938 and sent to a concentration camp from which he was released in 1940. Within six months, he had begun training with the Abwehr, the intelligence wing of the German army, and on the 31st of January 1941, and dressed in a business suit, he parachuted into England. Having broken his ankle, he was found the next morning in a field near Dovehouse Farm in Huntingdonshire. Jacobs was taken into custody and was held at the Dulwich Hospital in London while complications with his broken ankle were treated. Eventually, he was transferred to Wandsworth Prison, where he was formally charged with espionage and was tried by General Court Martial in early August, since he didn't have British nationality and was a formal member of the German army. Found guilty after just ten minutes' deliberation, he was taken to the miniature firing range at the Tower of London on the 15th of August. Having been strapped to a wooden Windsor chair, he was killed by firing squad at 12 minutes past seven in the morning. (laughs) 